and then out of time, but that's okay. We'll do the best we can with this. You're gonna take a chair or a couch or whatever you have for tension, a dresser. You are going to come into a half kneeling position. So if you need something for your kneecap, maybe a blanket. This is hip extension work, also hip flexors, but the focus is hip extension. So I'm trying to get into a place here where I feel a stretch of my front hip stuff, my hip flexor, my psoas, my quadricep attachment. So I'm finding that stretch. For me, I have to shift forward a little bit. I have okay hip extension. It's not amazing, but most people are pretty limited. So you might be straight up and down and feel a stretch here. That's all right. Let's see how we're doing. Is this making sense? Mm -hmm. Great, Martine. Does anybody not feel a stretch of their front hip stuff here? All right, and then we're holding. Sorry, are we tucking the tailbone or ducktailing? You are not ducktailing. You're likely tucking, and you might not even need to tuck. I just need you to feel a stretch of the front of that right hip. Tucking nine times out of 10, you'll feel that a lot more, but I don't want you to exaggerate that. I want like, here's how I need you to envision this. This is your, this is the bowl of your pelvis and this is your thigh bone, the head of your thigh bone. Where I need you to be is slightly on an angle so that the front stuff, your hip flexor stuff, your psoas, quadricep attachment stuff is on stretch. So if I had you ducktail, that would be a cheat of your pelvis, right? So I don't want that. Even if you tuck under, there's still a cheat of your pelvis, but it's gonna lengthen the front stuff that needs to be on stretch. So I'd rather that a little bit, but not by much. Yeah, cool. All right, we're gonna do, what are we doing on time? God dang it. We're gonna do one round pails and rails of this. One round, that means that you have to, this is a one round max. If you were at the gym, you'd have one chance to fatigue it out. That's what I want you to do for this, okay? Now. Obviously, you're in a new position for pails. The pails effort is going to be you trying to drag your thigh bone and knee and the earth straight forward and up. The rails effort will be you trying to lengthen it back and up, right? So if I were off the ground, it would look like this, trying to pull in, trying to pull my knee in. And to, the rails contraction would be trying to pull back. But this is not happening from my low spine. It's happening from my thigh bone in the pelvis. Does that make sense? Let's give it a go. It'll make more sense once we put it in your body. Take a big breath in, brace your abs. This front leg is gonna be exhausted from irradiating and thinking hard, right? So that you're trying to drive this front heel back as well for more tension. Full, full breath, abs braced, 20%. Begin to drag your knee forward. You're trying to contract the hip flexor stuff and then 40% dragging the knee forward. 60%, you've got one opportunity for this pails and rails. 80%, that should be exhausting, trying to scrape the knee forward. It's not going anywhere. 100% safest, greatest effort, breathe, five, four, three, Stay here too, your body position doesn't change, rails contraction, try to lengthen your thigh bone back. Try to scrape the knee back, five, rails, four, three, two, and one, soften, go into a slightly deeper stretch now. Oh yeah, hang there a moment and breathe. Mm -hmm. Good y'all. Okay, slowly, we're gonna switch sides. Did everyone, oh, was everyone able to feel that? Did you give everything you had? Okay, good, good use of time. Let's switch it out. Other leg, one rep max. And then first find your stretch.
I'm trying to read what I had put down here. Oh, crap. Gosh, we need more time in this class. Okay. Again, once you're in your stretch position, try to maintain that stretch and breathe. Did everybody feel your front leg firing up to help? It's pretty crazy. I would always get cramps in my front hamstring from trying to just drive this leg back while I try and drive that leg forward. Hmm. Soft, full breath. Good, you guys. Okay, let's get right to it. One round. Give me everything you got. Dragging the knee forward and then dragging the knee back. Big breath in. Brace your abs. Load the front leg. Start to pull that leg back into the hip. And then 20% pales. Drag the knee forward while contracting the hip flexor quad stuff. 40%. Use tension, please. 60% dragging forward. That's a lot. 80 now. Oh, yeah. 100%. Safest, greatest effort. Five, four, three, Two, don't change your body position. Rails contraction, drag the opposite way. Try to lengthen the thigh bone away from you, away from your chair. Five, four, don't change your body. Don't change the pelvis. Three, two, and one. Soften, slightly deeper stretch for a second. And then slowly come out of it. Mm -hmm. 